Good morning, good people. What's going on? Uh, this is around 10.45 here in Dhaka. It's daytime, you know, and I plan to do a gothic list. Uh, kind of weird, doesn't go with sort of like the theme, but I thought of it yesterday, you know, when I was e reviewing one fragrance from House of Jacques Bogart, which I'll show you in a bit what that was. Gave me the idea, like, let's put up a gothic list. And I did search, you know, like, if, did, if people did have similar reviews. And to my surprise, yes. So it surprised many ladies this sent sort of like uh, through our reviews, like, 10 fragrance that smells like a vampire or fragrance that are gothic, you know, so it's not, it's, it's a thing, you know, so uh, I am not totally, you know, cuckoo up in the head. So I have about 15 fragrances, uh, which I will uh, show you one by one. I reviewed them all and I feel these fragrances are all dark and kind of weird. Some of them are unwearable to a point, you know, you need particular occasion to wear these. And when I talk about gothic, you know, I'm all dressed in black, all blacks, you know, in New Zealand jersey, but not necessarily dark is a bad thing you know people always say white is a good thing darks are dark are bad no you know not no such thing it's just a gothic theme you know if you like movies you know horror movies you know kind of like suspense thriller you know a bit scary horror vibe this fragrance perhaps will ensure you know those uh, evoke those feels so i have three honorable mentions then i have 15 fragrances okay i hope i got 15 yeah if i got more i'm sorry so let's show you the honorable mentions and i'll show you why they're honorable okay First fragrance I'm going to show you, I write, I write down the names, don't worry, is the fragrance from House of Azaro, it's called Decibel, okay. This perfume, not you will not see anybody reviewing this or talk about it because it's a very odd fragrance, okay. In a way, this is based on licorice, very synthetic, it has darkness, it has some of the maybe grapefruit, this and that, but it uh, opening, it's very challenging, the licorice note is very big, I have another licorice based perfume which is better than this, does the same Halloween theme, but this fragrance for some reason this was a gift from my gf long time back and i was like very surprised this one has a very awesome looking bottle it's like the, the atomizer is like built in you spray it it looks like a mic right so this fragrance i found it uh i think jennifer's body if you know that movie i'm gonna take my sweet time today it's gonna be a long video so brace yourself when i was watching jennifer's body it's one of my favorite fragrance uh, movies and i do love her you know like I used to be a big fan of her uh, and I still do love her but uh, basically when she turns into evil you know that band you know if you watch the movie you'll get the reference she follows the band she's very you know obsessed with them and they sort of sacrifice her for the name of you know devil or something just to get famous or popular this fragrance reminds me of that you know <laughs> so kind of weird and dark you can give it a try if you like something kinky but it's kind of synthetic side it's affordable but it's called other accessible that's the first one. Second one. I'm going to show you the fragrance that reminded me sort of to this list but I did not include it in the list because I have think I have better choices than this but still massive respect for this fragrance for House of Bogart. This is called Arabian Nights. I reviewed it yesterday. Many people commented this is one of the most horrible fragrances, one of the most unwearable, really bad and I understood where they came from. I did say in the review it's a very polarizing one. This is a wood based perfume and the thing is like the fragrance basically is a winter nighttime perfume as very much like love it or hate it okay but the darkness of it reminds me of the gothic theme so arabian nights by jack bogart very masculine fragrance <clears throat> and the third honorable mention i'm going to show you these are all good by the way but this third one is very rare to find it's very expensive around 500 dollars up to it goes up it's house of dior and this is the very first if not very first one of the very first wood based perfumes from designer side other one would be m7 but this one from house of dior fahrenheit absolute this one if you smell it today perhaps it will not shock you as much when it did back in the days people are not shocked but people are very surprised you know when they came out this one people are like wow we don't have anything like this in the designer side and the introduction of oud they also have incense oud and uh mar you know like dark perfume but i find it very wearable i find it very interesting and then it, it has the fahrenheit dna but it takes it to the dark uh, genre okay so this is the darkest of them all from the fahrenheit line I also have Fahrenheit Le Parfum, but it's not as dark as this one. This one has supposedly replaced this, but I find it to be more, uh, I don't know, fruity compared to this. But uh, my third one is going to be Fahrenheit Absolute by Dior. So there is no particular order here. All these fragrances are gothic. So it's not like I'm ranking them from 15 to 1. Just going to show you rank one by one. And I'm gonna, not going to say very in-depth because I have reviewed them all. First one is John Verbeto's Dark Rebel. Looking at the bottle, you can tell there's some sort of evil soul in this. <laughs> the theme is very beautiful. I heard this is discontinued. Very nice bottle. I really admire the house of John Verbatos because 
they put creativity in their fragrances. Perhaps their fragrances do not last as much. This one has decent longevity. Check it out. You know, it, I think it, I remember it was like maybe leather. Something dark leather jacket sort of fragrance. You can also try the John Barbados Dark Rebel Rider. And that one is also gothic, but I like this a lot. Dark Rebel by John Barbados. Second one I'm going to show you is the fragrance I was talking about when I talk about licorice, you know. And I said this is a better fragrance than Decibel. This is Lolita Lempica or Masculine. So they have a lot of uh, variation of this perfume, but I like this the most because uh, to my knowledge, this fragrance is really um, sweet, but yet has that, uh, it gets darker, you know, even the bottle is transparent, it gets darker, it gets the Halloween theme. If you like horror movies, this is a perfect pair for those times, okay. Lolita Lempica or Masculine. Third one I'm going to show you from House of Latafa. This is one of the darkest fragrance in this list, okay. This is a very scary one, but very beautiful. This is one of the unique looking bottles in my arsenal also. This is Latafa Mahir Black Edition. When I got this first, you know, it didn't uh, show in Fragrantica, so I had to sort of guess the notes or guess what is in it. But the moment I smelled it, I was like, wow, this is very dark. This has incense, smoke, it has leather, it has... Again, some smoke, you know, it's a very smoky perfume. I don't know what this one is replicating, but it's it has some sweetness as well. So basically, you'll get cumin, this and that. It will rem be reminiscent of some dark perfumes, but I think it's going to be something from very expensive niche side, which I haven't smelled. But I have smelled something, something similar, like black, black Afghano, fragrance like those, or Irish leather by Memo. Uh, it has those vibes, but such a beautiful, stunning presentation with very cheap price tag. This is one of the most darkest one, gothic ones for me. Latafa Mahir, Black Edition, check out my review. Number four, I'm going to show you Theory Mugler. This is pure leather. This is discontinued, you know, just like Fahrenheit Absolute, but you can still have it if you pay a little bit more money. This goes for $150 plus, okay? This hands down are the most expensive uh, Theory Mugler perfumes and very rare. Uh, some of the, most of the Theory Muglers are now discontinued, but this is one of them I would hunt down if you like leather. Very gothic, it takes Theory Mugler. I was going to put Amen in this list, right? That is a gothic fragrance, but... Imagine something more serious, more gothic, more dark with a leather note. This is it. You know, some people may say side by side at first, they smell very close. They are not that, you know, it's redundant to have those, but I humbly disagree. This one has a brown leather. Look at that bottle. It's rubbery, but it has a leather texture, okay? This fragrance has one of the most uh, challenging ones from this line. Very scary, but very beautiful, very long lasting. Kiri Mugler, pure leather. Number five, I'm going to show you. This fragrance is very wearable, but it has a mysterious vibe and I was going to show you basically from House of Tom Ford, there are many fragrances, but I was going to show you one more, but I decided to go with this one. I was going to show you Black Orchid, which is a very dark fragrance, ominous, dark and mysterious, but I find this fragrance to be a little bit more darker compared, you know, hard to believe, but that's what I feel. This is Tom Ford Noir EDP. Discontinued now, but you can still find these in random shops. This is a soapy, dark, very mysterious fragrance. It's similar to Prada Amber Purom Intense. But I like this more, okay? This one definitely has a waxy, dark vibe. And if you are dressed up dark theme, try this out. Even this is like, I think for unisex purpose, but it has this nice little uh, mysterious vibe about it. So I would put this in the list. Tom Ford Noir EDP. After that, uh, in an expen inexpensive fragrance, which I included, I was going to put something else. But uh, when I actually let me get that as well, included in the list, hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, I'm going to do a little bit twist because, you know, sometimes I do not plan so well. But next fragrance, I was going to show you. Uh, let's show both of them, you know, like uh, not same, but uh, since I included one more, I will just do that like a joint entry. OK, this next fragrance is inexpensive. If you can get the older bottle, get it. It's from, from House of Davidoff. This is called Hot Water. OK, uh, Hot Water basically is a sweet kind of boozy, vanilla, warm pimento that sort of vibe it's similar to Zarius Rouge by uh, Givenchy but this one I prefer more to that the reason being that one has a nice more sophisticated vibe but this one it's very long lasting if you get especially this dark side bottles nowadays this all transparent it's reformulated but if you get those these are very extremely long lasting this is a very odd one to be honest that uh, because uh, there's a fragrance from House of Azaro called Nighttime. That one, this one, they give me the same sort of night vibe, you know. So sort of think of vampire vibe. This is a sweet one and it's very affordable. Definitely try out Davidoff Hot Water. So let me show you another sweet one uh, as a joint entry. This one is House of Mancera. This is a joint entry like number one, two, three, four, five, six, number six joint entry. Other one I'm going to show you, Mancera's Wild Cherry. I wish I had uh, the Guillain's 
Le Petit Robe Noir. Uh, there's one fragrance. I think one of the dark variants has a very dark cherry note. Also gothic, bit scary. Now this one, basically reminiscent of that. And also Tom Ford Lost Cherry. If you like those, there's a beast mode version of those. Mansara does some beast mode fragrances. This is the one I really like. But it's not really uh, everyday wearable for me. You know, like reason being this one, the cherry is dark. Also it gets kind of like very dark. You know, as time progresses, this one gets very dark. And that, you know, the sweetness it's very 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 like strong but if you like gothic perfumes you know this one for some reason uh, i always pick up you know like that gothic vibe from this so if you like dark cherry based perfume this one definitely try wild cherry okay next one it's a i think discontinued fragrance but i was gonna sell it off but then i decided to keep it this is from house of valentino and i think where is my box <laughs> the name i always forget yeah it's down there it's called valentino noir absolute Oud Essence. okay this is the bottle this looks like Valentino Umo Intense line, but it's not. It's just basically from the Noir Absolute Oud Essence line. Uh, this one, it's a beauty, okay? I don't have it on my hand. Let me spray some. This fragrance, it's a nighttime perfume. It's a unisex offering. So when you hear the name Oud, don't be scared. This one has some Oud, some smoke, but it's very smooth, very polished. It's a very high class niche style perfume, okay? It's not for everybody for sure. But evening time, if you want to be mysterious, just like Tom Ford Noir, EDP, you can definitely give it a try. This one takes that Valentino Vumo uh, DNA. Like it is not that sweet. It's more smoky, oud, but very polished. Very nice fragrance, but for aquatics. Definitely belongs in this list. This is called Valentino uh, Noir Absolu Oud Essence. There are a few in this line, okay? Very beautiful bottle. So when you talk about beautiful bottle, there's another one I'm going to show you. This is from House of ST Dupont. This is ST Dupont Noir. This is discontinued now very unique looking bottle and you can see the theme is kind of dark you can easily label this as a dark fragrance list but i'm going to call this uh, what i call it this one it's really interesting this is one of the most sweetheart in this list this is more wearable this one when i smell it it's long lasting it doesn't project as much but it has some sweetness some spices it's a spicy fragrance but with a hint of sweetness okay but it's very unique one of the most unique fragrance in designer side very underrated nobody talks about st dupont uh, I was going to put Udat Sandal, which is similar to Black Afghano, but I decided to go with this one. This is a beautiful fragrance, okay? Definitely check it out. Uh, Estee Dupont Noir. Look at that bottle once again, okay? So next one is one of the darkest Manser I ever came across, and I couldn't get a hold on or put a leash on this fragrance. This is just so challenging. Uh, I would say at some point it's unwearable to me. You know, I, I don't dare, dare wear this because it, it chokes me. It's If you want a beast mode, Fragrance, if you want more uh, challenging than Gucci Guilty Absolute, get Saharian Wind or by Manser, okay? Uh, this fragrance, look at the juice color. It's a bit boozy, whiskey color, right? Oh, uh, no. This is actually about leather, uh, smoke. And I think there's some challenging other notes like violet leaves and all those things up there. It has a little bit freshness up top, but when I smell it, it does give me that vibe of Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's like kind of boozy in the opening, but it goes slowly to that leather side. And it has some freshness, but I get the very raw uh, sort of animalic vibe from it. So I would put this as a gothic fragrance, okay? This is Saharian Wind by Mansera. After that, many of you will agree this is actually one of the fragrances that represent the gothic side of things. And when it came out, you know, people would say, what's the occasion to wear this, you know? And I would tell you, I don't know either, but I enjoy this fragrance. This got a cypress, it got some inky notes, vetiver, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is Ancre Noir by Lalique. Uh, Ancre Noir has four in the line or five, I can think. Look, uh, Ancre Noir, Sport, Ally Extreme, and then Ombre Noir, perhaps you can consider, but it's not the same line. So Lalique made a niche, niche level juice here. You know, if you like dark fragrances, but artistic perfume, that ink note is very interesting, very, very interesting. And then vetiver, everything is just so nice. This one, it's basically a nighttime wearing. Uh, if you want something summer version, go with the Sport version, which is much more grapefruity, but this one remains a gothic fragrance for me. You know, this is very art artistic. Okay, so Lalique Ancre Noir. So five left, last five left. Let me show you another dark perfume. Let's show you the Terry, which is scary. This is actually a uh, boy toy by Moschino or Toy Boy. I always mess up. Uh, yeah, this fragrance basically it's a uh, spicy, woody, um, to my nose, pear. Got some pink pepper and stuff. It's it's a weird combination, you know. There's nothing like this in my collection. When I got this at first, I did not like it that much. I was expecting more to be fruity pear, but this one gets dark, okay? Even though the teddy looks like it, but think of 
some gothic films you know like uh, which the toy comes out alive you know and then they do some scary stuff this one is definitely uh, up for that but it's a very beautiful fragrance very long lasting too for uh, not for faint of hearts okay moschino boy toy after that i'm gonna show you a fragrance from house of carolina herrera this is bad boy le perfume okay i just opened the notes breakdown a while back i don't know where i kept my phone okay here it is this one have the notes let me tell you the notes you understand why this is here uh, this one has uh, think wait uh, man i lost <laughs> i didn't lose the plot i still have it yeah so this one has notes like uh, cannabis grapefruit black pepper geranium leather and vetiver so that note to be uh, you know noted is called cannabis you know this is the fragrance it reminds me kind of like a grapefruit or sorry grape juice okay um, Nishane Karagos, sort of like a grape juice. Very nice. It's very beautiful in the opening, but that cannabis notes gets dark, you know. Very long lasting. This is a unique fragrance for me. You know, I did unique fragrance list. This is one of them. This is one of the best releases ever from designer side. This is underrated. The bottle, sometimes people say, hey, hey the bottle looks kind of tacky, but forget about it. the juice inside is very beautiful. If you like Black Afghano, this is more modern vibe of Black Afghan, okay. Karina Hera, Bad Boy Le Parfum. <clears throat> Next one. Narcissa Rodriguez for humidity. This keeps popping in this weird list because it is that, you know. Like Ancre Noir, if you say it's kind of artistic, unwearable, this is father of unwearable. I do not find any occasion to wear it. I still keep it out of respect and these things are discontinued as far as I know. This one, the EDP. But Narciso made this violet leaves and sort of like a wet pavement. This is the perfect description by the reviewers. It's not my credit. Uh, when it rains, it smells the wet pavement. This is what it smells like. It's very dark. And I can only think of funerals to wear this fragrance, not nowhere else. So it's kind of colored blue and ashy, but this one remains one of the most gothic fragrances in history. Narcy Rodriguez for him, EDT, very kinky. <laughs> the second last one, I'm going to show you, this is the one I forgot about and I put it in. Um, this is inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco Vini. And I don't have Tom Ford Tobacco Vini because it's very expensive. Instead, I got few uh, clones and inspired ones, but this is, remains the best out of them all. This is Al Haramein, this is called Amber Root Tobacco Edition. Okay, look at the juice color. This is dark. This is everlasting. Okay, this one right here, if you love tobacco veni, get this instead if you want value. Okay, this is gonna cost a little bit money, but it's gonna be cheaper than tobacco veni by half. Okay, this one, what a combination, man. You know, when I smell this, you know, it, it it's sweet at first. You know, it's sweet. It got the tobacco vanilla, obviously, got the cinnamon, but as time progresses, it starts getting dark and dark and dark. Okay. Uh, very hardly I can say this one of the best uh, fragrances I would never ever get uh, any weakness out of this perfume you know because it hits you with full force you know it, it lasts very long time like you know what La Yucom does to Tuscan leather this one does to Tobacco Veni okay simple as that okay this one it's Tobacco Veni for me is a gothic fragrance you know believe it or not it's night time very interesting very beast mode and mysterious too smoky fragrance Tobacco Veni inspired fragrance called Haramine Al Haramine Amber Root Tobacco Edition Last but not least, we have to put the father of all uh, smoky, scary fragrances. I do love Memoir Man, but I don't have it. So I'm going to show you my uh, Blue Beast. I have a backup bottle of this. My bottle, when it finishes, this one, then I'll open that. And I also have Interlude Black Iris, which is more wearable. But this one right here, forget about it. You know, like uh, if you want to scare people, if you want to be scared yourself, put this on at first, you know. At first, you may not get what's, so, what's the big fuzz about, you know, why I love this so much, why I show this or brag off brag with this fragrance more and more you worry the smoke the leather the wood incense you know this all these things brings up that cumin is it cumin or uh what's the other one oregano you know when you smell this it's something like middle eastern vibe it's something that you want to cook with you know spicy indian or middle eastern cuisine but there's some incense happening around you know people are wearing some leather jackets and stuff you smell all sort of smoke you know this is the ultimate uh dark you know, gothic fragrance for me, even though it's blue, but it's the most dark here today. You know, Emoj Interlude Man. So that's the list. Do let me know what you like, uh, what you thought of it. 19 fragrance I showed you. If I put one more, that we top 20. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end it here and hopefully you enjoyed it. Try out. I'm showing you some uncommon ones. Hopefully you will give them a try. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.